Eight Possible by Three Four Three Studios. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Nathan Three Four Three here. And as you can see, it's Christmas time, and I want to wish each and every one of you guys a happy holidays and a merry Christmas. Uh, here from Three Four Three Studios. We actually got the Christmas tree right over here that's going to start being in our videos. However, it is not completely uh, shaped and or decorated yet. So stay tuned to that. We'll have those in some follow-up videos. But we do have our brand new neon Merry Christmas um, that was donated here to the channel. Uh, so I want to thank them. They know who they are for sending this very, very cool neon over. Uh, it was very, very nice of them. And it looks great. Our sponsor is from our good friends over at, how do you say their names? Forget how you say their names. So Vic McHugh. Yeah, I know I'm probably butchering that. So as you all know, I've done several reviews for this company. I actually have, we'll see, one, two, three, four, five of their cameras already. Um, and I absolutely love them. Have not had a single problem with them other than I charge them because I live here in an apartment. I've got some clamps. I've got the doorbell ringer. I've got a camera on my stairwell uh, because during this time of the year, there's a lot of porch pirates and we want to make sure that our packages are delivered to our loved ones and not someone that they don't belong to. I've got cameras overlooking my parking lot, <clears throat> my balcony. Basically, my entire apartment area is covered. But what if you've got an area that's not home, not near Wi-Fi, and not in an area um, that you're close by? Well, that's where this little guy is going to come in hand. This is the Outdoor Smart Solar Battery Camera. This is a 4G Elite Cellular Camera. So this runs off of the cell phone towers. So yes, you can link it to your app, to your actual account. And you can look at this via no matter where else it would be, as in someplace else. So, I have a shop <clears throat> that I would love to be able to keep an eye on without being there. This is going to allow us to do that. crazy part is there's a cell phone tower less than two blocks away. So, so we should get pretty good service. I know they've been uh, updating it to the 5G and stuff, but this is only a 4G. Right on top here comes with a book, very, very heavy book. I've got every single book to every ever camera I've ever had. It is in my filing cabinet. You get a very awesome piece of styrofoam, and you get your very awesome water-resistant, waterproof um, solar uh, panel. This also has some itty-bitty holes in here, so it will breathe. Very long cable. And the cable also has a waterproof thing in it, so where you plug it in, it works. You also get, what else we got in here? That is a template, so you know where to drill your holes. You got some screws, if you were to mount this in a wall, uh, anchors and screws for the anchors. You get a noob, you get a USB to USB-C Looks like charge cable. If you do decide to plug this in, you can link this hardwired. You also get this little tray with the camera in it. Very heavy camera. You also get a mount for your solar device and the mount for the camera. Now, I do believe I have one just almost exactly identical to this out on the porch, except for it is not. Hold on a second, get this guy back in there. It is not 4K, it is only 2.4, so I definitely like this. You've got your bracket, which has a little groove that holds it. Now what you'll have to do is you'll have to mount this, and you'll take your little nut, you put it in there, and then you will turn it. I did get the antenna back on, you can see now. It's working just fine. Just snapped in, snapped out, just popped out of place. So you just tighten that, and then you have your camera. Now it does have some protected stuff over it. Over the whole deal, over the sensor, and it also has one over the lens. We'll peel that off. And then of course we will be able to, now I think, you would then take this. Now we're going to actually attach this to a power pole. And 
I'm going to run the solar panel up to it. And I'm going to face the solar panel to the, so that it works from the east to the west. So it gets sun the entire day. Pull that off. Lots of cable here. Probably four, probably eight feet of cable. because This is a four foot wide deal. This then would actually go on here. You just thread that in, just like so. And then you can adjust this. This has a little side deal, so I'd have it on the pole, probably like so, so it's more wider. And then it would face directly to the east. So then I'll show you how that works. Now on the back side of this, take this top mount bracket off. There is the part you would plug in this piece to. So you would put that in like so, plug it in, and then push this up into it, and that would block. Of course, you'd have this piece. You could cut this off, I guess, if you wanted. That blocks your whoops, the water from getting in here to the charge port. However, I don't see that being super water effective, but it might be. Now down here on the bottom of the camera, let's move these antennas out of our way. Looks like we've got an SD card already in here. It's a 32 gigabyte micro SD card it comes with. So they give you that. And then in this little slot here, this is your card that runs for the cell phone part. Just gonna push that back down in there. Then of course you have your on button. But we're not going to turn this on until we're ready to mount it because I'm sure you get a free trial. Looks like it has a 90, 9,200 milliamp lithium ion battery. If you don't decide to use a solar thing, you've got an extra charge cable, which around here, it doesn't hurt to have extra USB type C cables. Now, this is not a data cable, and this thing is a short cable. But you can use it to charge up other things. Three foot cable and all that stuff. So we're going to throw all this stuff back in the box here. I'm going to probably have to take that thing apart, see where the hooks are to that antenna getting back on there. We'll put this in the compartment. We'll put all these. Probably won't need this. We are back. Sorry I didn't really do any of the setup video here. Uh, I will kind of show you some features in the app that are really cool. Now, I did go ahead and activate cloud service and I have uh, activated the SD card uh, for the um, internet to work. And if you're really, really close to a cell phone tower, like right there, this thing gets really good service. <laughs> like there's legitly like one right there. Like I'm gonna zoom in on it right there. Like, there you go. So we are actually got it here at my shop. Uh, so far, we've never had any troubles here, but that doesn't necessarily mean we will. I need to probably take this post down. I used to have a light on it, and then I moved it up there, but whatever. But I'll get up here on the uh, ladder. It is super cold out, so we're going to test this out in the cold. So far, solar panel's working. Uh, it is getting power. I did have to tape the extra cable. I wish they would make it to where you could plug it in, so you could kind of maybe get a shorter cable, like if you're going to put this right next to it. So I got it set facing the east, so it will get complete sun rise and sunset. Now, as the year goes on, I'll probably tip it up a little higher. That's kind of how my solar one is on that, but there it is. I got one pointed forward and one straight up on the antennas. So I was able to get that one snapped back in. So, yep, quick and easy little deal. This is basically what it's seeing. So, and then I can rotate it around and move it. So I did have to get a ladder. We did put this on telephone poles, so I don't think this pole's gonna be going anywhere anytime soon, unless they do decide to redo the poles and then that I'll get notified and then I will come and, uh, which it's a pretty good pole. It's not, not in bad shape. This actually put that up not too long ago, as you can see the, dirt fresh dirt around it still so it would be cool if i had one over there too but that's not my pole that one is so yeah 
but uh, it's up about 10, 11 feet. They recommend six. So that is a, they got seven, seven foot, six foot ladder. So that's about 11 feet up. So I'm able to see my trailer, side of the garage, front of the garage. That way if anybody tries to steal anything, I'll know. And then it's got all kinds of cool settings in the app you guys can set so that you will allow you to basically set this up how you want. You can set how long it will record. I think it'll record up to four minutes. Has the SD card in it. If you want to put a bigger SD card in it, that is totally up to you. Um, I will look into that and if it re what I'll get you what the biggest SD card you could put in that thing. But so far, uh, I like it. First uh, 4G um, camera I've ever had, and it's really cool. I've got a cell tower right there. Um, they used to have the antenna way up there, but they moved it down there. Why I don't know. Short range, I guess. But they're, I mean, if they ever want to put antennas up there. And uh, you can, I think, use, if you want to put your own cell phone provider in there, I think it will run off like if you want to go buy a plan through Verizon or AT&T or whoever you're through. I think that will work. Don't quote me on that, but I think you can do that. I'm just using the Sims card that's already in there. So, works with me. So, definitely check this thing out. Lots of uh, cool stuff. I like it. Uh, we've got a lot of their cameras and I definitely think this would uh, benefit you. Also makes a great Christmas gift and it's not super expensive and it's super easy to install, super easy to set up. Uh all right guys, so here we are in the app and as you can see, I've got all my other cameras here. So I am going to show you the top one here obviously is my shop camera as you can see there. So what you're gonna wanna do is if you want to view the camera you're gonna like to see it live you're gonna want to hit the play button shows you up here uh, your signal strength and your battery level all right so there it has connected I kind of want to show you the night vision here now you can I'll hit the left button as you can see this thing's turning left now it's taking a minute for the there it goes as you can see there we can go back as you can see we've gotten a little bit of snow today now I'm going to go ahead and stop it <clears throat> now there is a white light on here I'm going to turn that on as you can see I'm just kidding I mean we have gotten snow but the the night vision makes it look like things are a lot more whiter than they are so the camera light is on go ahead and turn it off <clears throat> so you can see really great quality there thing does really good I try to have it to where it's cut off to where it doesn't see the road so much <clears throat> now you can come in here now this doesn't actually run off of the cloud service this just runs off the uh, SD card so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the SD card you're gonna select that one you're gonna hit confirm you're gonna hit okay <clears throat> as you can see it's only picked up one event and that was at 808 this morning so, and that was more likely probably just a car driving by down the alley or something. So you can click on it. And it actually looked like it caught somebody down there at the bottom. I'm actually going to watch that again. <clears throat> okay. I did go back and look and it actually was a dog. The neighbor probably letting his dog, walking his dog. So, <clears throat> very cool there. You can actually go see it and it viewed it. just kind of came in. I saw the tail wagon. So it was a dog. And you can choose days. So if you want to go into the video here and you want to hit like day 10, then you can look at all. You can actually see me. Like here, I'll play this one here. <clears throat> this was uh, two days ago at the time of recording. It takes a minute to clear up. You can see me getting in the garage there. And I have it set for uh, see me raising up the door of that vehicle. And. Uh, person detection now you can go in and set whatever you want it picks up vehicles <clears throat> and all that good stuff of course this was on the 10th of course you hit cloud it'll sh show you all your other cameras that's been on your cloud you can go back to home go into settings of course you can see your other 
uh, your signal strength, your status online, location, shop. And you can change your sensitivity. I have mine on low because medium picks up everything. You can set your sleep schedule, your motion detection. You can turn it off and on if you don't want the camera on. Notification settings that it will notify you. Alarm settings, video settings. <clears throat> you can go and choose your camera resolution, which is either 2K or SD. I have it on 2K. It would be nice if they'd make these 4K. Um, you've got your night vision, your uh, flicker frequency, your, let's see here, anti-flicker, color mode, light sensitivity, all that good stuff. Uh, down here in the bottom, you've got your SD card. Looks like we haven't even, we've used a little over half a gig, half a gig out of, I think it was 32 gigs SD card. I believe you can put more, a bigger SD card in this if you want. And you can also put other providers uh, in this um, deal too. Uh, it'll do AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile. So if you have an SD card that you want to use with a different provider, you can put that in there and it will latch onto their services. I'm, however, just using the service signal that the uh, camera came with, which I believe uses all the cell phone towers. doesn't actually pick one. Um, so if you click up here, you've got your, your battery level and all your, so yeah, there's different things you can, you can share this and share it to a different email account, uh, pan and tilt your audio settings. You can turn the, the all the stuff up, turn it down if you want to pick up. Uh, if you have this set a certain way, you can flip the, the image, your power settings, uh, power source selects basically you go in you can set solar plug in or battery we have it set to solar solar panel so there we go leave that there I'll go back to settings and then still is set for solar panel so there we go so very very cool little way of checking out your deal <clears throat> to make sure that no one is messing with your property I will say that uh, if you guys are um, programming this and you do the auto setup where you you know, hit the add and do that, you have to go in and select 4G for it to recognize it. I did have that problem with that. Uh, so you're gonna need to go into the settings um, and select 4G because you can set up, you can set this thing up to work with 5G internet and 2.4 gigahertz internet. You gotta select what do you want it to do so that it knows what to do. So make sure you do that if you have any problems with that. I was kind of, it wouldn't connect to the cloud service. So I had to set it to 4G instead of, it was set for uh, 5G home internet service. So you can use this on any band service, 5G, 2.4 and 4G. So uh, I will do a uh, review, kind of a follow up on this in the spring. I want to let you guys know how it did through our brutal winter we're having here. It's actually supposed to get down to single digits tonight. So tonight will be a good, um, to see how it does. Um, I know I didn't get this out before any Black Friday or Cyber Monday deals. I'm sorry, but just literally got the camera like yesterday or day before or something like that. So, and the weather's been super bad as you can tell. So, check it out, guys. Link in the description. Thanks for watching.